Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA series based on Red Hat 8. Today's video is on interrupt the boot process in order to gain access to a system. So uh, this is when you've perhaps forgotten the root password uh, and you need to regain the access. Uh, so there's two ways of doing this. One's using the original installation disk and the second is using uh, a process called rd.break. Uh, the first process is generally the quickest, um, however for your exam you'll need to know this, the second process. So the first process is more for um, information only, the second one is the one you're going to use in your exam. So let's do the first one. Okay, so the first step is to insert the installation uh, ISO, virtual optical disk. So if we go to devices, optical drives and either browse to or if you've used it before it should be there as the RHEL 8 ISO DVD uh, sorry the ISO you downloaded previously so if I just click that that should insert the disk into the drive now I should go see here we go and if we just do a reset on the system now okay so now it should auto boot up from the the uh, CD so we've got the options here so we've got install test and finally highlighted um, when you can see it's getting highlighted in white and highlighted white now let's select troubleshooting and then we've got rescue a red hat enterprise linux system the second option select that it will now uh, boot up Now the next thing that happen is if you've a, got a uh, encrypted file system, uh, in this case we won't have, uh, you will be asked for the passphrase because it won't be able to mount the file system unless it's got the encrypted pass, uh, passphrase. So if, if you don't know that, um, you won't be able to mount anything, so you won't be able to reset any passwords. So in that case, you, if you do encrypt any um, drives uh, or mounts, you uh, ensure you have the passphrase stored in some other method. So uh, in my case, we're not it's not encrypted. So first thing to do is select uh, one to continue. So one from this just to continue. Select OK to acknowledge that. OK, I'll just do some more booting up. OK, so we just do now. Just uh, press Enter to get into the shell. So we've got a shell there, and now we do. CH root, which is change root directory, and there's M and it's MMT for mount, and then sys image. And now we've got a bash shell you can see. Enter the pa password command, so it's P A S S W D, and it's now changing the password for user root, so it's our uh, local root user, so I'll just set a password. And then retype the password. And we can remove the relabel for a system because this will uh, prevent the auto relabel of the whole system based on the uh, SE Linux uh, relabel. So we don't need to do this because we've done it via the rescue disk. That's a, that's a good thing to be saved. So if we exit and now exit again, it should now be booting up. I may have to, yeah. So we can just, uh, if I just do devices again and just uh, optical devices and untick rel on here, force unmount and just do a reboot again because uh, it shouldn't, they should now not pick up the drive. So now it's just reboot, reboot just as normal uh, with the updated root password. Okay, so I want to log in as the root user, so say not listed here, root, and then my new password. And as you can see, the password has been accepted. Okay, so the next method is using rd.break. So again, we'll have to reboot the system. So I'll just select restart in here. So this one's imperative, we catch the grub screen. So 
So we need to get in here and so at the grub screen now. So the quickest way to quickly catch it is just press the up and down arrow keys to get into the selection here. Uh, you may or may not have multiple um, kernels listed here. Um, we can I'll show you how to clean that up later. But for now, if you've done multiple uh, YUM updates or or whatever um, over the course of it, it keeps the previous kernels listed here. So select obviously the one that was pre probably most likely highlighted already, uh, and just click E for edit. Okay, and then you're going to find the line that starts with Linux. So it's in this case it's the fourth line down, and you want to go all the way to the end. So I can just scroll here, or you can just do Control E to go to the very end, and you're going to delete. There is the two lines. So there's quiet, which is this quiet. It goes across two lines here, and the RHGB. Okay, so it's two bits. Delete off the end, and then we're going to add these two lines, uh, two words. So it's RD dot break, and then space, and force in equals zero. And you want to try and remember this. The RD dot break is obviously the the actual mechanism that will do the recovery of the password but this enforcing dot zero also saves you a lot of work with se linux again with se linux if you do an auto relabel of the whole operating system especially in exam it can be quite time time consuming so by setting this enforcing zero it means that you may you won't have to uh to do the full relabel which obviously can save a lot of time um Doing that, it's especially in the case of uh, perhaps in the real life when you have a production system, you'll have a large number of files and it will take a very, very long time to boot um, because it has to do that relabel process. So it's important to do this uh, enforcing equals zero or try to remember to do it. So now I've done that, I can press Control X to start. And it should start pretty pretty similar to how we started um, when we used the, the ISO. So again, if you've got an encrypted file system, you'll be asked to give the password for the passphrase for that encrypted file system. And again, if you don't know that, you, you, there's no uh, chance of recovery really. Okay, so there's a couple of extra things you have to do this method. So mount minus o, remount, comma rw, sysroot. Okay. So it's going to mount the file system read only uh, on the mount sys root, as you can see there. So read write, so you've got DW, so sorry. Okay. So now we're going to do the ch root again. At ch root and then sys root. We're now change the shell. Again, p a s s w d. And again, update the password. Excellent. If you didn't uh, remember the enforcing dot zero equals zero option, you will have to do a uh, touch auto relabel, and that will force the system to be relabeled. Um, I'll do this anyway just to, sh to show you what it looks like. Um, obviously, I, I won't bore you with the whole the whole process, but I'll just show you a snippet of what it looks like. So I'll just do a touch uh, slash dot auto relabel. So it's basically creating a file called dot auto relabel on the root directory of your file system. So now we're going to remount the file system as read only. And then we're going to exit. And then we're going to exit again. And it should continue booting now. <laughs> yep, and now you can see here it stopped and it's now saying warning SE Linux tar targeted policy auto uh, relabel is required. Relabeling could take a very long time depending on file system and file speed of hard drives. So it will now begin doing that. And now we wait. <laughs> I will just pause it here and 
uh, update your windows completely you can see there's a a little percentage counter going along as, as it does, does relabeling relabeling now you can see it's just completed it's relabel now and so it should just continue booting as normal and this is all, as it's a one-time thing yeah it's it oh, i shouldn't have that again so it took about five minutes on this system but obviously if you use that enforcing equals zero you're going to save yourself a hell of a lot of time um not doing that so yeah make sure try to remember to do that okay now we're back up and we should be able to log in as the root user with the new password Okay, excellent. Okay. And now if you set uh, enforcing equals zero option and did not do the auto relabel, then you now need to run restore con etc shadow. So that restores the etc shadow files se linux security context so restore context because uh, that's what could because you updated that by using the uh, password d so to run that then set enforce equals one and then get enforce enforcing so se linux is running and we're back up and running as the root user so we've managed to successfully get access back to our system so that pretty much concludes it so we've got two two methods one using the original uh, red hat linux iso or uh, dvd and the second step method is using rd.break enforcing equals zero um, so yeah both methods should be able to get you in um, the, f the first the second method is very important because in the exam um, it they essentially lock you out of your system and you have to be able to get in if you can't get into your system you're pretty much going to fail the exam so it's important uh, you you captured the second part of this video uh, with the uh, steps with uh, the rd dot break and enforcing equal zero option again thanks again for watching uh, please like my video subscribe to my channel that would be awesome if you enjoy my content i have many more to come so uh, keep keep uh, keep liking and, and subscribing it'll be great thank you once again cheers bye bye